Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Hi, Ginger. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida, and I am later in the day, as you can tell. Usually we do a morning walkabout, but this morning had all kinds of events going on. So if you guys can take a minute and share this, tag your friends and family, let everybody we know that we are live, just weirdly later than normal. <laughs> I started this up early so you guys have plenty of time. Hopefully people get their notifications. We'll story tell and see who we can see along the way. Oh, there's a Nala back there. There's a good chance we're gonna see quite a few cats we don't always get to see because today was a fasting day for the majority of the cats because tomorrow is our quarterly flea treatment. So I really dislike doing lives in the morning around breakfast time on a fasting day because I feel like I'm teasing them. So anyone who is 20 years or older or anyone who has some unique dietary things going on such as summer bobcat or Priya, we don't fast those cats, but everybody else, we need them to be very hungry because they hate the flea medication, which again, will be taking place tomorrow. So the other event that was taking place during breakfast that I just happened to stumble across because again, no one told me, <laughs> I'm like, I can't do lives and tell people what's going on if no one told me, um, but, at normal breakfast time this morning, they did catch Max and Marianne Bobcat. I say Bobcat like it's their last name, it's so cute. <laughs> that is because Dr. Justin is coming in sometime this afternoon. I'm likely not going to be filming that. I don't know if anybody would even tell me anyway, but uh, Marianne has been eluding the vet for quite some time. Um, a few months ago, we caught a bunch of other cats that needed vaccines. Marianne was the holdout. So this morning, they got both Max and Marianne. Marianne is currently over in that building on the other side of the lake. It's called the Recovery Cabana now. Yeah, look at that blue sky today. So Marianne's going to hold tight in the Recovery Hospital or Recovery Cabana, I guess until Dr. Justin can come out and do her vaccine. And then she will be joining Max Bobcat. I just heard over the radio that Max Bobcat moved to his new home enclosure. So sorry I didn't get to film that, but we're gonna go check him out now. See how he's doing. So that's the first stage. The next thing that will need to happen is my guess is that they're going to try and get Manny Jaguar used to loading up in the transport. That way he can be moved to the enclosure that we're actually walking towards. I'll point it out as we go by. But there's an Aria. Hi, honey. Ooh. Ooh. She's like, fasting days are terrible. <laughs> she doesn't really fast either. She gets morning and evening meds, so she gets food with that as well. So, I heard the cameras are live and listed on the bigcatcams.com page for this enclosure right in front of us. So this will be the future home of Manny Jaguar. He will not be loaded up and moved though until we get into this enclosure and they're gonna make all kinds of modifications inside and outside of this enclosure so that it's safe for the keepers to walk around. But you can see there's a camera on this pool. There's a camera down there as well. 
I thought there was going to be a third camera, but I don't know if that has happened yet or maybe it's not happening at all now. We've got a Jasmine over here as we make our way over to where Manny, hopefully Max isn't too intimidated. <laughs> Here's a Jasmine. Jazz, jazz. I figured I would feel less guilty about coming out and filming and talking to the cats once they all got past that mark of realizing that breakfast wasn't coming. <laughs> Darn those fasting days. So again, that is why I'm filming much later today. I, I knew we were moving cats, so I was going to film that, but I missed it. So we'll just come out and check on him. Manny's, I guess, the official greeting party. That's a pretty intimidating greeting party. So eventually the goal is Max and Marianne will be moving into Manny's enclosure, but clearly that cannot happen while Manny is still living in it. So for now, he has been put into the sections that our late Jinx had. Hi, Mr. Man. Did you get new neighbor? I bet you're very confused. At least he's a very, very big bobcat. He's not a tiny bobcat. He's a very big bobcat. So, I don't really know, no clue where <laughs> they might have let him out. So unless he marches right up to me, I don't fully know where he's going to be. So this will be fun. This is sort of going to be like a home tour. However, in a few weeks, this will probably no longer be Max and Marianne, but it will be Flint and Nabisco. So all of the cameras will need renamed. So this is the first section. You can see that there is a camera facing this platform. You can see toys and coolaroos for smaller cats were moved over. It is hooked up to a tunnel system that can be put together so that they can walk themselves across the street and into the 22,000 square foot um, funcation enclosure. So, they're going to get some new big concrete dens, you can see. He's not in there. Now, this does extend all the way back into this back corner, so if we don't see him in the direction I'm walking, we will probably have to go check that corner. Where's Maxi? My guess is he's probably might be a little timid with Manny next door and Marianne not being here. Marianne is still in the recovery cabana until she gets her vaccine later. She is one stubborn cat, which is usually why I don't bother filming when they're moving her because it's usually a very long standoff. So all of this is where Max and Marianne have access to. So you can see they have already two three igloo dens, lots of new toys, several lockouts with water dishes. They're all connected by little doors and tunnels. The problem is I wasn't out here to see where they put him and whether he would still be nearby or not. He's usually a pretty brave bobcat, but he does have a very intense neighbor right now. And that one right there. So we're just searching for a bobcat. Thanks to everybody helping out in the comments. Hopefully you've shared this and tagged each other. Still walking and wondering. Manny, where is he? Do you know where he is? <laughs> Do you know? I bet you know. I'm sure Max will be much more brave once Marianne gets here. They said he darted out of the 
squeeze cage, just like <laughs> a release back into the wild. Okay, well, he's either hiding very, very well, or he's in that back bubble that I have to go out of the barricade and back around to find. So we'll just walk around all the way around. So they have this den as well plus another big platform, lots of toys. So I'm gonna walk along the backside now. All of this space is going to be Max and Marianne for a bit and then eventually it would be Flint and Nabisco, which I'm quite excited about because I sometimes do think that they don't have a spacious enough environment for how rowdy and how much they run and chase. So they'll have some massive tunnels <laughs> instead of their little buddy hallway. Maxie! <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I am not looking at the screen at all, so I apologize if it's not a good view or <laughs> you might feel dizzy. Right now I'm just looking for a bobcat. We'll see. Keep trying to look at where Manny is. He's just following me, I think. I was hoping he'd lead me right to Max. All of these enclosures over the years, when I first started, they were all bobcats. So that's kind of full circle where we're headed back to now. But then for a short while, it turned into all cougars. Here's a maxi. <laughs> Hi, buddy. All right, I found him. So you can see that we're back where we technically started, the Coolaroos. And then he went right back here. Hi, Bud Bud. Oh, Maxie. Is this kind of weird? Is this a little weird? Oh, him is a little mad. I'm sorry, handsome. You sound like Val. You also have an angry bobcat above your head. Oh, buddy. Don't worry, handsome. Mary Ann's gonna come out. He's like, I didn't get breakfast, and then I got caught, and then I went into the recovery hospital, and then they tossed me somewhere I don't know. We didn't toss. I know, buddy. It's gonna take a little bit of adjustment. It's gonna take a little bit of adjustment. Mary Ann will be out by the end of the day. You do have a very annoyed squirrel above you. I'm sorry, handsome. I'm sorry. I mean, you just came from an enormous enclosure, and this one's even bigger. Oh, poor buddy. Poor buddy. And there's Manny doing his territorial call. I know. I know. I know, buddy. It's all right. You'll settle in just fine. I promise. I promise. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Oh, this is where you just wish they could totally understand. I know, I could tell you the whole plan. 
Manny's gonna go away at some point. He's gonna move far away. And then your silly other neighbors are gonna join you. Flint and Nabisco. Marianne will be out this afternoon. And you'll, you'll figure it all out. Poor puppy. I know, I'm gonna go. I don't wanna put too much pressures. Just wanted to tell everyone what was going on. <laughs> Bless his heart. Oh, change is never easy. Mm. Oh, you know what, buddy? I'm going to have to walk by you, though, because there's no way out this direction. Don't worry. I know. I'm going to have to go right by you. No, sir. <laughs> Oh, this is actually a really interesting, oh, I know, you gotta let me get by. This is a really interesting moment with Max. Oh, because you guys know that Max is usually a really chill guy. Like, usually don't get growling, he's really easy to load up. I know, buddy. I don't know if this path is going to be big enough. Oh. So even when you've got these like really chill, super laid back cats and they're still wild. They're still wild. Yeah. Are you going to let me go by? I know. I know, buddy. You better find that squirrel and tell him to hush it. Go tell him to hush it. Can I go by ya? <laughs> Walk over Paul Meadows. Oh, mister. Oh, mister. All right. There we go. See? You just had to get by. I know. We need to quiet that squirrel up. We need to quiet that squirrel up. Oh, easy. Are you in hot pursuit? Oh, hi. This is the quietest space back here, though. And the good news is I had nothing to do with trapping him today, so he's not even associating me with that. I mean, you're already defending your territory. You must be feeling at home. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Poor bud. It'll be all right. You go explore. You go explore. Yeah, I know. He's such a big guy. Go do some exploring. <laughs> well, what I'll try to do is, if everything goes the way it's supposed to, and Marianne gets her vaccine and comes out to join Max, then tomorrow, uh, hopefully weather permitting, I can go back to a normal morning live, and then I can try to spot them again, see how they're doing together, because I doubt I'll be filming just another very angry bobcat <laughs> when she gets her vaccine. I don't like being associated with that. Let's see if we've got a chaos out since we had to walk all the way around. Bye, Bethan. Bye, Bethan. Thank you for coming in today. <laughs> Ryan's so good at thinking as volunteers. Well, I don't see a chaos. And is there a chaos home? No. Okay. Well, let's see if I can find a cat. It's kind of one of those weird where I wasn't here at breakfast. Oh, there's Alethea way back there. Hi, Lily. 
Oh, she just laid down behind, behind that den. Hi, Lily. What you doing? She's way back there behind that den. This will be a very good live for anyone who's like, you have such small cages. Me, I've never done my research about you. <laughs> I like to run my mouth on the internet. Because <laughs> good luck finding some of these cats. That's how much space they have. Yeah, okay, well. Let's head back out of this section because we've struck out with Alicia and Chaos. We did at least get to see our Max. Gonna be an adjustment period. Sometimes chaos is just like laying by a tree trunk and she just blends right in though. Those are really funny days. You don't notice her until she's just hissing at you. Oh, hi Maxie. Did you come out of that back bubble? That's good. I told you it'll be okay. It's gonna be okay, bub. Yeah. It'll be all right. You guys might also notice this area that's sandy here on the ground used to be a giant lockout for when this was cougars and leopards and there was really no need for it so they took it out and patched it hi kiddo you can growl at me all you want i don't mind i understand i don't like change either yeah you're being very brave you're being so brave yeah, so brave. See, you got Coolaroos. Got a big den. Oh, there he goes. Gonna go explore. I have a feeling that door right there that he just walked through looks lowered somewhat. So that's probably where they released him was back that direction. So this might be him exploring the other way for the first time in a little bit. Baby steps, right, Bubby? Oh. <laughs> oh, poor thing. He'll work it out. So again, go to bigcatcams.com. Start clicking on camera links. You'll be able to see what Manny's up to while he's got a new neighbor. You can find, I would imagine that the cameras you might see Max Bobcat on, that might be listed either still under Jinx, it could say empty, or it could say future Nabisco and Flint. But it also could say Max and Mary, and I honestly don't know. Manny's will say Manny for now. And then eventually when he moves. you get new neighbor you got to be really nice to him okay he's like i'm gonna duck in here and stare at him from this from this secret hiding spot hilarious all right well let me see if any oh he's sawing <laughs> of course they turn around and want to go back and he stops. Well, right now you guys know Kimba Tiger's out in vacation. So I think he's still got a couple weeks left, but we've been working hard on his enclosure, inside and outside, raking, clearing the roof, all of those things. I don't even see a beach or unusual. Well, we can go back over here and have a Zen moment with Jasmine real quick. Hi, 
Hi, lady. Can we come say hi and you'll not think this is food? Of course, this is a really bad angle because it's like a curved wall. There's our Jazzy. Hey, Jasmine. Sophia is asking, what is vacation? That's a great question for a newcomer here at Big Cat Rescue. So vacation for our big cats, meaning our tigers, is a two and a half acre enclosure that our tigers rotate to every month. So each big cat gets one full month in the largest enclosure on the property, which has its own pond with a fountain, all kinds of extra toys, dens, and platforms. And we refer to that as vacation rotation. And then and the enclosure we were just next to where Alethea was hiding out in the back, that we refer to as Funcation. And it's a 22,000 square foot enclosure with a uh, roof on it. And that's where all of our small and medium cats rotate to. They now also, I believe, are getting a full month. It used to be every two weeks. I think they might be doing monthly now. A lot of times that depends on what type of cage maintenance their home enclosure needs. So again, as I just mentioned, while Kimba's out in the big vacation rotation, we are safe to go into his home enclosure because there's no cat in there and do all of the work that we need to do. Here in Florida, that's just a lot of fighting against nature. <laughs> it's constantly cutting back trees, um, raking leaves, constantly putting down new grass seed because, you know, the big cats just tear it right up. And we power wash things like dens and platforms and toys. And then if there's any kind of maintenance things that need to go on with like any of our separating doors and clips and locks and all of those kinds of things. So every time a cat goes out to vacation, then we spend all our time in their home getting it ready for them to come back. Let's go see if we can see a Max tiger. Max is usually in his den hopefully facing the right direction for us to see him. And another terminology thing a lot of people don't always understand about our enclosures. So for instance, I'm approaching Max Tiger's home enclosure and it starts here. You can see there's a pool along the lakeside. There's a big concrete den. There's a feeding lockout which again, that is where we feed the cats. They don't live in those. They just go in as their happy place every morning to eat breakfast and drink water. If we have to catch them for some reason, that is also helpful with the lockouts. So this is bubble one of Max. And these bubbles are anywhere from 1,200 to 1,800 square feet each. So he's got one bubble there, and then it leads over to this bubble. There's a little tunnel with guillotine doors. This makes it easy for us to shift cats around. We can close doors, lock them out of certain areas if we do ever need to go in. And we do seasonal enrichment and things like that. So this is Max's pool number two and large den number two. And it's actually bubble number three for Max. This is lockout number three for Max. And this is a bubble number four and five for Max. And he's got another big platform over there. And then he is generally during the day in this den here with his third swimming pool. There's a Maxi. Hi, handsome. Hi, good boy. Look at that good old boy. So Max Tiger is uh, one of our three male tigers. He was rescued from the circus life in Guatemala and living the life in Tampa. <laughs> Hi. You gonna go for a walk? All right, can we join you? <laughs> yes, we can. What a sweet boy. What a sweet old boy. 
He's like, you want a home tour? I show you how far away I can go. All the way over and around. Where are you going, buddy? It's not that easy for me to follow you. <laughs> he has direct paths where he wants to go. You can see he's going all the way up to that front bubble where I first walked in. Let's see if he swings back around. Here he is. It is often hard to see through all of the wire. I understand why a lot of people don't always understand how our enclosures are built and how they work. I really do wish people would ask questions before they just start complaining about cats being in small cages. We don't think cats should be in cages at all, but as long as they are bred in captivity and people are stupid enough to try to have them as pets or use them for entertainment value, then they need sanctuaries to go to. Oh, <laughs> that was a cute little back leg kick. What are kicking that back leg for? All three of our Guatemala tigers came in with really severe limps, uh, crooked bubbled spines, just a hot mess. They were basically born and raised in something that would be like our feeding lockout, which is just this little square off the side, no bigger than a queen size mattress. So as they grew up, this is all the space that they were really able to have. So when they got here, they all kind of overdid it slightly. <laughs> Lots of running and jumping, which led to some hobbling. So actually Kimba is the only one not on a daily pain regiment because Max and Simba came in in their early tens and teens. Kimba spent far less time in the abuse, but psychologically it's still there. Well, he's not coming back this direction. And we already saw Jasmine. We had seen Aria. I guess we could pop over and try to see Simba. He was moving around when I first came out here. If not, we'll call it a day. This is, you're starting to see why a lot of times I do my lives in the morning right after breakfast because at least everybody's still awake and out. You get in the heat of the day, which in Florida, it's been heating up. They all tend to just find somewhere cozy to chill out. That's also why we tend to <laughs> do lives at a different time of day. Oh my gosh, he's upside down in the tunnel over there. Oh, I don't want to scare him by creeping up on him now that there's a weed eater, but he's just laying over there. Simba has a very, very large enclosure too that are all connected by tunnels and he is so funny. He will stick himself in the weirdest, smallest space, lay upside down and prop his feet up. Kind of makes you wonder if he's not uh, dealing with pain. Like they tell you to elevate, <laughs> do the rice method. Here's Aria herself away to hi lady well I think I'm just gonna call it a day since there's not a whole lot of cats out it's getting pretty hot and now we've got project noise so my goal will be probably I'm gonna do a morning live but it likely will be later than normal but not as late as today because again tomorrow is our quarterly brevecto, our flea treatment. Cats kind of don't love that. <laughs> so, and I don't like sticking a camera in all the keepers' faces when their sole uh, goal of the morning is to get flea treatment into every single big cat here, and that's no small feat. So, well, thank you guys for hanging out. And I really appreciate everybody who helped out in the comments, shared this, tagged each other. If there were any donations, thank you so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, everybody.